Second half action kicking off in the Arena Football League. This is week 15. The Grand Rapids Rampage have shattered previous records. Go look up the history of Grand Rapids Rampage season by season. 14 games, 14 wins, never happened. They're looking for number 15, 14-0, playing the 6-8 Austin Wranglers. SK Money in the house said, who is the blue two player of the half? It's got to be Shane Stafford, right? I mean, through the interception. But he, he's come in the rest of the way. He's been the blue two player of the year so far. He's probably going to win league MVP, this guy. Trying to win an Arena Bowl championship, an Arena football legend, Tony Graziani. That pass is going to be complete, I believe. Chris Anthony, yes, they are going to give it to him, feet down. What do you think, SK Money? Who, who would you give the Blue Chew player the half? Let's go to the crowd. Let's go to the audience here. Graziani. To Henry Douglas, first down, and Austin quickly right down the field. So this is what they were dealing with in the first half. They just had trouble getting the ball. They were denied twice at the goal line. Got SK Money here. We're going to take SK Money to his first arena football game, first in-person game. He's going to love it, man. All the scoring, high octane. It's like basketball and football and hockey all in one. You get the big hits like hockey, you get the high score like basketball, and it's football. They're probably going to hand this one off, and they do give it to Umar Muhammad for the touchdown. Yes, sir, let's pick a day. Let's go. I'm going to cheer for the New Orleans Voodoo this year because the Chicago Rush are not playing, and we don't have a Tampa team. So I've always uh, liked the, the voodoo name. So I think I'm going to go with the voodoo. So let's go. I want to try to go to the game when the voodoo play the Orlando Predators. We got to make it happen. SK might get his media passes. Damian Grosh, one of the rare times he's actually been able to return a kick today. Arena football. I don't know how this new league is going to be because it's going to be a brand new league using the arena football assets, but... I've been to many, many arena football games, mostly in Tampa, but I've been in Chicago. It's right up there with hockey. It's like one of the most fun sports to go to in person. If you count wrestling as a sport, wrestling's number one. <laughs> but um, if you don't, then, I mean, I'd put arena football number one, hockey number two, as like most fun sports to go to in person. Second and six. Ball on the 22-yard line. 35-21, still a tight contest here. Grand Rapids essentially just playing for an undefeated season, so risking injury and all that. And Stafford, boy, I was hitting the B button and he did not throw the football. Risking injury, risking it all. Because we want the undefeated season here. It's going to be a big third down and a decision that Grand Rapids is going to have to make here if we don't convert. Just hope that we do. And it's caught. Wow. I was not sure that one was going to be made. But Damian Grosh. He might be your other. I mean, he's they keep wanting me to run the ball. I'm going to run the football. That might be your other MVP of this season. He has been lights out. What a draft class this the coaching staff put together here. The pitch to Fleming. Fleming hits the spin, goes up the middle. I guess the play call is right. It is a rushing touchdown. I don't think we have many of those this year. For the Grand Rapids Rampage, Corey Fleming for the score. And we're getting close to our 60-point average here. Kick is through the pipes. 42-21. Grand Rapids over the Austin Wranglers and we keep winning at this pace not much fear for the playoffs because we've already played and beaten Utah and Vegas and Nashville right now those are the top contenders in the American Conference now on the other side Dallas 
played them, beat them. The real unknown would be the Orlando Predators, who's the only other team in arena football this season that has double-digit wins. Tony Graziani, plenty of time, and dumps it off to Connor. Austin, they have to start moving the football here. Time is starting to become of the essence. Graziani, he's got an open man, and that is Tony Graziani. That is why he was paid as much money as he was paid by the Philadelphia Soul. Tommy Connor for the score, and the Austin Wranglers hanging around. They'll be within two touchdowns. Need to come up with a couple of stops here. But Austin staying extremely competitive in this one. Damian Grosh will get a shot at a kick return here. Just pushes his way down around the 19, 20 yard line. So for Grand Rapids, we got to keep pace too because Austin coming out here with all they got. Stafford looking for Grosh. That might, yeah, threw it a little too high. That one hit off the. Oh, we got a pass interference against Ordway. I didn't see where it was, but they called that one. Oh, there's the complaint there. Jonathan Ordway not happy about it because that was, man, that was a rough. Uh, that was a rough call. That's gonna hurt them. They had a they had a, at least a, a stop on first down. Stafford. Pressure coming, just heaves it deep, and it's caught by Grosh. That is unreal as Shane Stafford. Under duress, and he's got a lot of trust in his receivers because. Those could be interceptions waiting to happen. But he heaves it up and knows his guys are going to make the catch. How about that, SK Money? Pretty much keeping this 21-point gap that we've had since the beginning of the third quarter. Henry Douglas, not much on that kick return. Douglas on the return. First and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. What can Tony Graziani do on this possession? Graziani. Oh, my good. Oh, and that was almost intercepted. Graziani was looking for it, Douglas, and that is going to be the end of quarter number three. Austin trying to stay into this one. It is 49-28 Grand Rapids. Once more, a reminder about how you can support TV Sports 27. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Subscribe. Thumbs up on YouTube. Follow along with us on Twitter as well. We were tweeting out during the Super Bowl, so you could have chatted with us there. We're on Patreon, Streamlabs, and Kofi as well. Patreon, the best place to help support the channel, of course, TV Sports 27. So do sign up. Get, get yourself some Discord access. Private Discord server. Old school videos from our original YouTube page are up on Patreon. All of the Twitch VODs early and ad free. Weeks, months before they come out on YouTube. Months, in fact. I mean, it's like we're like four or five months ahead of schedule. Yes, WX Man is in the house for arena football. He's here for the undefeated season. We got a loaded house. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we do one more game since we got a loaded house. What do you guys think? If, if SK Money, if uh, WX Man hangs around, we'll do one more game. 
What do you guys think? Tony Graziani trying to cut in to this 21 point deficit, but we've just been trading touchdown after touchdown. Graziani, another completed pass to Anthony. He's looked good in this game. But the difference is, I continue to say it, 21 points, and it was the turnover down at the goal line, and then it was the missed field goal, which has been pretty much the difference. Yes, WX Man, get you a piece of Patreon. Touchdown for the Austin Wranglers, who continue to fight in this ball game. Umar Muhammad, I think that's about his third or fourth touchdown run. But yes, Patreon, you get the VODs. You know, WX Man, you came in, you missed the first 34 minutes. That's going to be up on Patreon. We got the old school videos from our old YouTube page. We got the uh, private Discord access. They're going to go for the onside kick right now. They're going to go for the onside kick to try to cut into this lead. It's a two touchdown lead. It goes up and it's booted right over the boards, out of bounds. Remy Hamilton, the kicker, a little too much juice on that one. Perfect season is on the line, man. Austin, they are fighting. This team is fighting. Not only do they want to end the undefeated season, right? They want to get the playoff spot. They would move to seven and eight and be in the, in the shot for a playoff. But Damian Grosh, there's the touchdown which will break the 50-point mark here for the Grand Rapids Rampage. What do you guys think? You want to do one more game after this? One more. See if we can finish the undefeated season, and then we can do one playoff game on Thursday, tomorrow. And then we can do the... Uh, if we win the playoff game, the conference championship in the Arena Bowl. What do you guys think about that, huh? What, you're watching... No, you're, you're not supposed to be watching Twitch in the bathroom. Come on. I think that might be a, a Twitch... A, a TOD. Or a TOS. And that might be a Twitch TOS violation. I hate to say. All right, Graziani. Man, he uh, just cannot get past 21 points. Anthony is going to stay on his feet. Do you guys know any Anthonys? It's Chris Anthony, but I think everyone knows a good Anthony. Good numbers on the day here. You got number 92 in the backfield. It's SK Money's favorite. He said, why do they got the big guy in the backfield in arena football? But they do, at least in this era. I don't know how the new league will be, but in this era, man, it was split linebackers and running backs played the same position. Bob McMillan was a linebacker run running back. One of the greats. That one is right off the fingertips of Henry Douglas. And it's fourth down, so this is going to be one final shot for the Austin Wranglers. Because with the way the Rampage have been moving the ball, if they give the ball back, to Grand Rapids. We're probably sworn and that's going to be it. So fourth down, Graziani. And it's incomplete. Looking for, I don't know if that was a designed called screen pass or what. Did not work though. And now, can cap this one off as Stafford got that one away. Damian Gross slides in, makes the catch. We were successful to run earlier. That 108 yards for Damian Grosh in this one. Which hit the Fleming. Fleming looking for another touchdown rush. Only going to get about two or three. Welcome back, WX. WX man. Where's Spence? Did you hear the big news about Spencer, one of our big fans? Spence getting the, uh, he getting the old, uh, I don't know if it looked like Sterling or what. Oh, it's a fumble by Stafford who picks it up. WX, do you remember Shane Stafford, longtime quarterback of the Tampa Bay Storm? Tampa Bay resident. 
Need to punch this one in the end zone. Go up by 28. And Stafford. Sacked by Steve Warren. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Where's the flag? Trying to re-injure. You know, he had the head injury in the last game. Wow. So Brian Schmidt for the field goal attempt. And that will make it a 24-point game. So it, it's not impossible in arena football, but it's starting to be pretty out of reach. Graziani's really going to have to just put every one of these passes in the end zone. It is 59-35. See how the Austin Wranglers, wow, not on that kind of kick return. All right, let's hear. You guys want to do one more game, or are you guys done for the night? Let me know. Let me know in the comments one more game. Graziani. Completes it to Anthony. Chris Angel in on the tackle. First and ten. This would be a bonus. I normally don't stream on a Wednesday, let alone two games. So, I mean, you guys would get a, a game and then some. Graziani. Once again to Anthony. Moving the ball, but you got to pick up. You got to pick up a lot more yards than this. Good numbers on the day for Tony Graziani. Your one minute warning here. Have you ever been to an arena football game, WX Man? Tossed into all kinds of traffic. My God, but Henry Douglas somehow able to make it. There you go. Your Blue Chew player of the game. I guess your champs player of the game. Once again, Shane Stafford. It's like every week he's the player of the game. Another reception by Anthony who goes up over the boards. We got to figure out a way to get arena football back in Tampa. Man, it's it's crazy they're not fielding a team this year. We got Jacksonville. We got Orlando. We got to get Tampa. They always... That screen pass not working out for the Austin Wrangler. So, well, the story coming into this one was we were dealing with these cornered end zones, the rounded end zones, which are going to be in Vegas, which is where the Arena Bowl is. I think we did pretty well. The rounded end zones were not an issue for us. Always a different situation here where you're going to have less of an end zone to work with, but no problem here. I saw it at Amelie Arena, I'm assuming. Amelie Arena in Tampa a few years ago. Yeah. Who'd you see uh, Who'd you say see the Storm play? What game did you see? I've been to many, many Tampa Bay Storm games. I've seen the Voodoo. I've seen the Predators twice. Um, I've seen the Gladiators, the Brigade, Rattlers, Dragons. Two-point conversion is good by the Wranglers. So onside kick coming up here. Uh, SK Money says go for 60. Well, I, you, funny you should say that because in arena football, especially if we get the onside kick, the clock stops if we don't gain forward progress you have to almost keep going here now we're gonna run the ball but oh there goes the kick it is up and who got it the kick off goes out of bounds. it goes out of bounds so man again a uh, a little too much on the kick First and goal. Ball of the nine remy yard. hamilton has just been going nuts so we got to at least get forward progress but yeah austin kept it kept it competitive oh i think that might be a loss of yards let's see is that going to stop the clock timeout no it is not but they call the timeout on here the One yard gain on the play. Second and goal. Ball on the eight yard line. we might have to pass it on third down if they stop us they still got one timeout here there's the handoff to ford ford hits the juke and there is the touchdown. So there's your 60. 
Shake it, uh, shake it, uh, yeah. Lonnie Ford for the score. Wow, look at this. We got harsh letters, harsh language. Holy smokes. Extra point is pending. Schmidt puts it through, and it's 66 to 43 at Grand Rapids over the Austin Wranglers. This was a high-scoring game on both sides. <laughs> What's happening right now? SK is going nuts. So 18 seconds left for the Wranglers. We'll be able to stop the clock for them twice if they score. Graziani lining up deep. Let's go of it. He's going to throw it off the netting, and it is incomplete. Wow. How about that play, SK Money? The Wranglers going for it all. Oh, and that's going to be a terrible. Yeah, that's going to go right through. The, the aim on that one, not there. In the seven seconds, even if they score, I don't know. You maybe have that. We're not going to make 100, I hate to say. Graziani, yeah, they're going to run out of time. Hail Mary, this might be good, though. It is caught. Wow. That was about as good as you can get, but time has run off the clock. That was Tommy Connor. And they're going to go for two. Good effort by the Grand or by the Austin Wranglers here. Two point conversion, no time on the clock. Graziani. It is good. That man has been doing it all day long. Chris Anthony. And your final score 66 to 51. How about it? All right, guys, let me know. Do you guys want to see one more game? Let me know in the chat. SK Money WX Man. Do you want to see one more game? As the Rampage will celebrate as we're going to look at the scores and Grand Rapids moves to 15-0 and 0 on the year. Let's go. One more game says SK Money. Let's go for the perfect season right now. Week 15 scores in arena football. Georgia Force the win over the Dragons. We had the Columbus Destroyers with the win over the Tampa Bay Storm. The Desperados. That should pretty much clinch the Desperados playoff spot. They get the three-point win over the Philadelphia Soul. How about the Predators losing again? They dropped to 11 and 4. So the Orlando Predators, who were once undefeated, they're kind of limping into the postseason, racking up all these losses. Voodoo moved to 6 and 9 on the year. The Blaze defeat the Chicago Rush. That's who we got in week 16. The Blaze go to 10 and 5, so they become the second team in arena football to hit double digits and uh well i guess the gladiators were there too i didn't mention that because they lost to the rattlers that's a big upset there as arizona gets the win to drop the gladiators to 10 and 5 here's another high scoring game the la avengers with the win over the nashville cats so their playoff hopes could be in jeopardy we gotta see what colorado did the crush do get the win so it's going to come down to Colorado and Nashville for that final playoff spot. And then here was 66-51 rant. Let's see who, uh, so the Crush play the Rattlers next week. I was wondering if they would play. So we'll look at the standings here. So it's all wrapped up. We are looking for a playoff spot, but it's going to come down to this. The Rampage, the Gladiators, and the Blaze. They have clinched a playoff spot. The Crush and the Cats will compete in week 16 for the final postseason spot in the national conference predators are in desperados are in force destroyers the force are pretty much in because they there's no way they can miss because nobody else can get 
uh, eight wins, the soul or the voodoo. So the force are in. So it's going to come down to the destroyers, the voodoo, the soul. The wranglers are actually still in the mix. That's why they are fighting so hard for that playoff spot. So we got a couple teams still in the mix going down to it. Guys, it is coming up week 16. It is coming up in just a couple of moments. You don't want to miss the action. We go for an undefeated season. The Grand Rapids Rampage and the Chicago Rush coming up in week 16.